Hello, this is Dr. Kilgore with Dr. Kilgore's World with a flipped math learning video all about classifying polygons. So go ahead and make sure that your notes are out in front of you and your learning target is going to be I can classify polygons. So in order to understand what you're going to need to do, let's look at some key vocabulary for this unit. Our first vocabulary word is polygon. A polygon is a closed plane figure made up of line segments. We also have a regular polygon, which is a polygon that has sides of equal lengths and angles of equal measures. Go ahead and pause the video right now and write down these two definitions and then come back and I'll give you some examples of polygons. Okay, so let's look at examples of polygons. Go ahead and create a little table in your notes and jot down these examples. We have an equilateral triangle, has three sides. A square or rectangle would have four sides. A pentagon would have five sides. Hexagon has six sides. Heptagon has seven sides. Octagon has eight sides. We have nonagons that have nine sides decagons that have 10. Remember that prefix deca from our metric measurement unit. And then undercagon that has 11 sides. I would say that that is not the most important one to remember. Just remember that all polygons are made up of line segments and are closed figures on a plane. So now that you have some examples down, let's look at some non-examples of polygons. The first one, this figure over here, is definitely composed of line segments, but it's not closed. It has this hole up here at top. Our second non-example is definitely made up of line segments, but those line segments Cross that causes it to not be a polygon. This third figure here, notice that it comes around with this arc on the end. That is definitely not a line segment, so this figure is not a polygon. When you look at the plane right here, this figure is made up of line segments, but it is not entirely on the plane. That would mean it is not a polygon. So this has been a quick video to teach you the definitions of polygons and some examples and non-examples. So go ahead and move on to the practice session of your learning and practice what polygons are, and classifying them based on their type.